Okay, first things first, let's sample some food from one of the region's most versatile chefs. Now, I don't care what you're in the mood for. Steak, pasta, paella, molten chocolate cake. You can get it all at Port Bistro. The chef owner. A ham pizza, no onion, and a pizza chorizo. The guy who does it all. How about a prosciutto and an onion soup? He cooks the food. He keeps customers happy. Everything's okay? In this case, the name of the chef owner is Brian Jenkins, and the name of his restaurant is Port Bistro. Is a comfortable, laid-back restaurant on Main Street in Kingston, Massachusetts, and it's a bistro in the true sense of the word. Really good home-cooked food, not too fine dining, not too casual, somewhere in the middle. Brian is certainly no stranger to the restaurant business, but Port is the first eatery he's opened in his own neck of the woods. Eleven years ago, opened the restaurant called Sintra Restaurant in Braintree. Went to high school in Kingston. My wife and I grew up in Plymouth. We're now living in Plymouth with our kids, so we just kind of seemed like a natural transition to keep our eyes out down here and we came across this space and we liked it. And thankfully, customers love it. They're steamed PEI mussels with grilled chorizo, bacon-wrapped oven-roasted chicken, and a Milanese-style pork chop that's pounded thin, lightly breaded, and served with roasted potatoes, arugula salad, lemon, and parmesan. But Brian doesn't do it all himself. His kitchen crew is on point. The wait staff is incredibly accommodating. Hi, ladies. How are you tonight? And wine director Melanie St. Pierre is all always there to help customers find the right glass. This wine actually comes from a region in California called the Russian River Valley. Melanie not only knows her wine, but also knows that customers come here for good food and great value. We use fresh ingredients and we change the menu up depending upon what it is that we can get in. So we're using a lot of fresh seafood. Everything's hand done, everything's prepared to order. Starters here are under 10 bucks. Entrees, including an outstanding order of steak frites made with tenderloin, are in the low 20s. And if you just want to sit at the bar and chow down, you can order an incredibly tender short rib sandwich topped with onion rings and coleslaw or a seriously mouth-watering burger. So we've got this beautiful local sharp cheddar that we put with it, as well as those caramelized onions. So it just makes this the salty, sweet, beautiful, homey, you know, juicy drips down your fingers as you're biting in kind of burger. Pasta is one of Brian's biggest passions. As you can see in his famous baked rigatoni with chorizo bolognese, roasted peppers, and melted mozzarella. But his signature dish may be the braised beef short rib cannelloni. So cannelloni is basically a sheet of pasta. It's flat sheet of pasta. Chef puts the mixture inside, rolls it over. So it's not a lot of pasta. It's not heavy in that regard. It's rich in the regard that the meat itself is wrapped with a little bit of truffle, a little bit of bechamel, a little bit of porcini. So that's what gives it its really great flavor. And if you want to experience all the flavors of the sea, you can't do any better than the seafood paella served over saffron risotto. It's lobster and shrimp and clams and mussels and salmon and the fish of the night, just all in there. All that goes into this kind of tomato saffron brothy sauce and then simmers open. We make risotto. It's kind of a lemon saffron risotto and then all that seafood goes on top. The risotto is so melt in your mouth, you just you can't get enough of it. And there's one more seafood standout on the menu, the spicy shrimp a la plancha, served on a smoking hot skillet. It starts with some nicely seasoned shrimp, and then the magic happens like this. A little bit of red onion. Right in this little spot here, we're gonna let a little bit of butter melt, and then we're gonna add some chopped garlic, fresh chopped garlic. Right before it burns, white wine, preserved lemon, touch of stock, fresh lemon juice, chopped cilantro, and then transport it into this dish. You can see that sauce is gonna actually finish while it's heading to the table. A little bit of homemade garlic toast, and that's how it goes out. There's a lot of aroma. We sell one, and then the next thing you know, we sell like two or three right away. You can finish your meal with a molten chocolate cake topped with a scoop of salted caramel gelato or top yourself off with another glass of wine. And without a doubt, you'll leave Port Bistro knowing that this is one chef who really cares. He is one of the nicest chef owners I've come across. He really has a passion and a love for what he does. Uh, it translates all the way down into all of us. He's very upbeat, knowledgeable in his craft, and it just translates when you're sitting down.